Hey, Gemini, it's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana. How are you guys doing? It's been a minute, has it not? It has been a minute. Well, Gemini, this is a good one. It's a good one. Um, very interesting. But before I get into it, I do want to say, as always, do not ever make a life-altering decision from a general tarot card reading. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at Deep Thoughts with Dana. Dot com. Otherwise, this reading may resonate with you. It may not. It just depends on what your journey is. This reading lasts from when it resonates until it doesn't. It just depends on your processing abilities. Each one of these cards is a mental, emotional, or physical process, and it just depends upon how long you get through your processes and if there's somebody else involved, how long it takes them to get through theirs. That's how long this reading is, okay? Alrighty. So, gems, here we go. Okay, I'm going to try not to hit this camera because I got it all like goofy because the cards were at a weird angle, but anyway. So what I got here is two different decks, right? I have the Tarot Illuminati old, tried and true, and I have the Tarot Illuminati brand new ones, right? Brand new, slick, slippery. These are all like worn in and stuff, right? So what I've done is I have laid out the root cards with the new Tarot Illuminati, which is all slick and slippery, and then I clarified with the old um, tarot Illuminati, right? And uh, yeah, got a whole third party situation going on here. And then I have the Rider Waite that I can, that I have been using with my other deck, right? Because I just love them both. I like the Rider Waite because it's so elementary that it's profound. And I like the Tarot Illuminati because they're just beautiful and I really identify with the cards. So no third party situation going on here. So I'm using my two favorite decks together and then we'll keep these for clarifiers if we need them at some point. So nobody's jealous. All right. So that's what's going on here because you see duplicate cards and stuff. So anyway, here we go. Gem. So you open this reading with the Nine of Cups, right? At one point, your wishes were fulfilled, but now they are not. Now you're dissatisfied in that Nine of Cups right there. To the Eight of Cups, feelings of disappointment, right? Dissatisfied, disappointment, abandonment, withdrawing to do what? To contemplate and reevaluate some things with the Four of Cups. Contemplate and reevaluate. Not only do you contemplate and reevaluate, but you slide on into the hermit energy, okay? And in this hermit energy, you do some soul searching. I mean, some hard, hard soul searching. Trying to get some introspection, really trying to light your path, right? With some inner wisdom. In this hermit energy, you come out with the star card. Hope, faith, purpose, renewal, spirituality, whatever fits for you. So what did you do in this hermit energy, right? What did you do in this hermit energy? Whoa. Well, what you did in this hermit energy is seven. You reevaluated, right? Contemplated, reevaluated with the four of cups. Seven is about reflection and assessment. Um, exploring motivations, observation, investigation, discovery, knowledge, right? You're in the hermit mode, not just contemplating. You're in the hermit mode doing some, putting some wood to the fire, doing some serious thinking because you have to make a decision. There is some kind of decision that you have to make about transitioning into some kind of stability, in some type of a situation. Ace of Swords says that you have some absolute mental clarity, absolute mental clarity about either a decision that you have to make about home and family or about reuniting with someone or something, could be a business partner, could be a business, could be a lover, could be a family member. So some kind of absolute mental clarity about either reuniting with what I, what I just said or reconciling your differences with somebody in your life or this is about family and home, okay? So have to make a decision. It involves some kind of stability with the four of wands, 
um, the Ace of Swords says that you have mental clarity now after being in the Hermit energy, right? Mental clarity about what you're going to do about this Six of Cups right here. Three of Wands comes in and says that you have um, some foresight now, right? You, 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 you can see what's coming down the road because of the decision that you made in the Hermit energy. To the Princess of Cups. This is a message of creation, okay? It's a message of creation. So that's what's going on here is that you did have the Nine of Cups, but you're dissatisfied now. Eight of Cups says that you feel abandoned and you're withdrawing. Four of Cups to contemplate and reevaluate. To the Hermit, to really contemplate and reevaluate. To the Seven of Pentacles, I mean really, really contemplate and reevaluate. King of Swords says you have to make a decision. The Four of Wands, I do believe, I do believe is about some kind of transition, okay? Some kind of transition. To the Ace of Swords, in this Hermit energy, you come to absolute mental clarity about what you're going to do with the Six of Cups. Either reunite with someone or something from your past. Reunite as in haven't seen each other in a long time. Reconcile as in burying the hatchet and reconciling your differences with somebody, anybody from your past. Or reuniting and reconciling. I'm sorry, I'm just going to repeat that again. Or it's about your family, right? It's about family, home, children, love, right? To the three of wands, now you have some foresight to the princess of cups about how to create this, this thing that you want here. However, we have the sun and the devil. See, now your dilemma is you made a decision about what you're going to do. But the dilemma is, the fear is, the reason for all of these cards right here is, is it going to bring you happiness or is it going to bring you pain? That's the question. Whatever this this decision is about somebody, something from your past or your family, the Princess of Cups says that you have clarity about how to create what it is that you want to create in this situation, but the, 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 <laughs> the question of the day, Dana, is, is it going to bring you happiness or is it going to bring you pain? Come down here to the Empress. This Empress. This Empress, she is about, of course, abundance. She's the Empress. She's the number three in the tarot. She answers to nobody but the High Priestess. And that is her higher self, right? Her intuition, her subconscious mind. She can have a sit down with her higher power with the High Priestess, right? But nevertheless, she answers to nobody but the High Priestess. So this tells me that this this card has a level of maturity about it, right? It's a level of maturity that that just ex exudes abundance and beauty and love and femininity and wisdom and just just everything that is beautiful about the Empress. To the Queen of Pentacles. These are both uh, Earth cards, by the way. I just want to point it out because the Empress is the card of Taurus. And the Queen of Pentacles is an Earth card. It could be double Taurus. We might be dealing with a Taurus. God forbid they have double Taurus in their chart. Bless your heart. Anyway, especially with the Gemini, my Ma's a Gemini, and the Taurus and Gemini thing just doesn't always jive. Depends on what your moon is. My mom's moon is a Taurus, though, so that helps us a lot. Anywho. Um, the Empress, right? So you are standing in your power, right? You're standing in your power because you've made this decision up here. You know what you're going to do. You're going to create abundance in your life. To the Queen of Pentacles, this whole thing right here has something to do with your home. Home, hearth, everything that just hits us in the breadbasket that's important, right? Security, grounded, um, the Queen of Pentacles, she's just an amazing woman. She's practical and she's secure. She's vigilant. She's self-sufficient. She has a lot of common sense, right? So this could either be who you're dealing with here 
or this is telling me that the empress is, has made this decision come hell or high water in regards to home because we had that six of cups, home and family, right? Now this, it could be, it could be the person that you're reuniting with, or it could be something about your home. Okay. But the two of wands comes on top of it and says that, um, well, to the four of swords, after much contemplation to the two of wands, you are beginning to plan for the future and you're making decisions, you're making progress and you're doing everything that needs to be done to do whatever this is that you want to do here, whatever it is that you want to create with that princess of cups to the prince of cups. This is being in touch with your feelings. This is the metaphorical knight in shining armor. And I would prefer <laughs> to, to uh, not have this be a love reading, okay? So let's keep our mind off of love. But if it's love for you, definitely take it for love, okay? But I'm trying to keep it super neutral so it can reach as many people as possible. So this Prince of Cups, it's the metaphorical knight in shining armor. It's wishes fulfilled, okay? It's also about being in touch with your emotions. So this Prince of Cups to the Ace of Pentacles is about, um, is about creating manifesting some kind of brand new beginning and it's in the center of the reading so this whole reading circulates around this ace of pentacles this prince of cups to the ace of pentacles is clarified by the three of cups which is reunion reunion so you fixing to get together with someone or something from your past and they are going to bring you a message of of creating something there's a message coming in of creating something. That's why you're all up in here, right? Because the message with the Princess of Cups came in and threw you up in your head and you really had to think about it, right? And you still don't know if it's going to bring you joy or if it's going to bring you pain, but you're going to do it anyway. You're going to manifest a brand new beginning. You have manifested this, right? For Yeah. To the Four of Wands, this brings harmony and celebration to your home and to your relationship, with whatever this is. It could be a job from days gone by. It could be anything, okay? A cousin Vinny from forever ago. There's the Princess of Cups again. We have the Princess of Cups up here and we have the Princess of Cups down here. This is a message of creation. That's what it's all about. So you're getting a message of creation from somebody from your past to create something with one another. Judgment card comes in and says, you got to make a call, right? You got to make, oh, you can't see it, can you? There you go, a little bit. You got to make a call with the judgment card right there. You have to. You just have to make a call. Um, it's a decision that is going to affect your life tremendously, one way or another, right? You step out in front of a bus, that's going to affect your life <laughs> one way or another. So just be aware that just because you have to make this decision doesn't mean that I'm guaranteeing you that you're making the right decision. I'm just telling you what the cards say. So you have to make a decision to the five of pentacles and your decision is to leave this situation out in the cold, right? To leave it out in the cold. It's too insecure. There's too much worry. And the five of swords says there's way too much conflict, just way too much conflict followed by the five of wands conflict again, just way too much conflict, right? Followed by the two of pentacles an imbalance clarified by the two of pentacles, balancing an imbalance. So your decision is that you are going to leave this out in the cold. And the five of swords says that there's way too much conflict to resolve. The five of wands says there's way too much conflict to resolve. Two of pentacles says there's an imbalance. Two of pentacles says balance. It's just too out of control to find any kind of balance in this situation whatsoever. There's just too much conflict. Whatever the deal is with, with you guys or you in a company or you in another entity of some sort, there's just too much water under the bridge and you're not willing to, um, to, to deal with it. King of Wands says that. King of Wands is like, fuck this. Mm -mm. Nope. Sorry. Sorry. 
I'm not going to do it. No, thank you. If you could just take a couple steps backwards and give me my breathing room, we'll be all good because i got to pack my shit because I'm going on a brand new journey in my life. Going on a brand new journey. Prince of Swords says I'm telling you about it too. Telling you about it, taking action to do it. And the star card, second time, says hope, faith, purpose, and renewal is on the horizon for you, Gemini. So there you go. That was your reading for the rest of August-ish, whenever, right? So I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Namaste.